Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy you're here today with me to do some crafting. Uh, my name is Martina and in this video I want to share with you guys the tutorial that I mentioned I would do for, let me show you, for the envelope that I have here, which actually closes like this. Um, but the fun thing about this envelope is this faux window that I made with fabric inside. So um, it's nothing complicated, but it's very, very fun. I love this effect. And yeah, I just want to share it with you. And here, here is how it looks on the front with the card, a sort of a closure and just a little cluster here. So let me clip it back to my journal. And if you guys want to see the flip through of this particular journal and four, uh, three similar ones, uh, then I will also link it in the description. Uh, I've just made it recently. Okay, so what I'm going to start with is choosing papers uh, that I want to make my envelopes from. I have this beautiful paper pack from uh, Die Cuts with the View. This is, one is called Wildflower. And I'm going to be using my um, envelope punch board to make these uh, envelopes. However, if you don't have a punch board or you don't want to use one, then you absolutely don't have to use one. Uh, I have a video tutorial that I will link in the description below with uh, three, I believe, three ways to make envelopes without a punch board. So if this is something in, uh, that sounds interesting for you, then do check it out. And let's just go through this paper pack. Beautiful, beautiful paper pack and find some papers that we love. I love this one. I think I'm going to, to take this. This is really pretty too. There's some journaling cards. This is cute. Ooh, and this is so pretty. I actually think I want this. Wow. Okay, and I'm going to choose four, but I don't think we are going to be making four of those in this one video. This is really gorgeous too. Mm, this is so cute. I love it. Don't know if you can see the little gold foiled dots. I love, I love them all. Ooh, this is stunning. Okay, I think I'm going to take this one too. <laughs> very, very pretty. This is so pretty too. But okay, we have four. <laughs> uh, so now, I'm going to uh, choose the biggest size of the envelope from my board, uh, from my punch board, yes. So the biggest size, I need my paper to be 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters or 10 uh, by 10 inches. So I'm going to cut, cut my pages. So we have 25 and a half centimeters, in fact, or about 10 inches. And the same here, 25 and a half. And then which one? I love this one, but I'm thinking maybe I want to do this one with you guys because this is really pretty. Very gorgeous, like deep teal color, and we love a nice teal here. <laughs> okay, and the rest of these I'm just going to put aside for the moment. I'll probably make more of these off camera just because I really love how they look and they are so so fun to make. So now using the guidelines on my punch board, I'm going to uh, fold some lines. 
So we have 11 on the scale. So usually I believe with those punch uh, envelope punch boards you have all the instruction that you need on the board itself. Uh, so you don't have to worry that it's too complicated because it tells you all the measurements, the measurement of uh, how big your piece of paper should be, where you should fold your lines, you have the guidelines here and there. So it's really quite quick and um, my punch board wasn't very expensive. I think in dollars that would be probably less than ten dollars but and it comes with like a punch for rounding corners and for also making a little notches uh, where you want to fold and it was honestly one of the best purchases yeah i can add it to the list we've discussed it recently to the list of those tools that if hopefully not but if they ever broke i would immediately buy a second um a second like that because i use it so often it makes making envelopes so fast and easy and i really love making envelopes so here i'm using the punch that came with with this envelope and to make the notches i don't see my lines very well I don't want to put my head in the camera so I'm trying to be as precise as possible here can fold my lines and I can use a bone folder. Do I have one laying around here somewhere? Or yeah I do. Although my book board does come with a bone folder too. I just I don't like using it separately just because I don't want to lose it to be honest. I'm like not not sure that I wouldn't lose it. In this mess that is my craft desk <laughs> okay so i'm just folding here and i'm going to decide which side i want to be up so this side up or this side up and i think i like it this way so i also like to fold this bit so that it does not stick out like this here um, but it also kind of reinforces this part where you you know fold it out to put something inside the envelope okay so for now for this envelope this is all that i want to do so far and let's fold this one as well i don't want to glue it i don't want to close it yet because we still need it open to to make our windows Okay. And which which one I want to be on the top? This one I think I love this one. So I'm going to fold this bit. I love these doodly uh, leaves. Really nice. And all the gold foiling. You know I love my gold foiling. <laughs> okay. So here we have those two. Now I want to use, uh, I want to use, I want to choose uh, the pieces of fabrics that I'm going to put inside the 
windows so you can use any fabric really you can use lace even you can use sheer fabric you can use tulle you can use cotton fabric anything you like uh, i'm going to use probably something um something let me see if i can find it in a mess yeah i'm going to use something from my uh, vintage sari collection okay so i grabbed a handful of fabric from my scraps fabric scraps box <laughs> and let's see if anything fits here i think we will most likely find something nice for this because the colors are just more i would say universal so let me see Ooh, how about this one and this is a little bit sheer and we could cut out a piece yeah I think I wanted this one for this now for here for here how about this one actually there is a similar color here yeah I think I like this one okay so here we have it so what we are going to do next and this is why we chose the fabric pieces first because we want to see how big or small they are and roughly what shape they are so we have a rectangle a small rectangle here and we also have a rather large piece so we can have a larger window for this one so now I am going to take my scissors or my awl and I'm going to make a few holes because I'm going to tear my window. I'm not going to cut it, I'm going to tear it uh, just because I really like the torn look, the messy look. So I'm starting small you guys. I don't want to go too big so I'm starting with like a small hole and I can see well my piece of fabric is much much bigger than this so I can tear away more much more for this one with the other one we are going to have to be more careful and I want the uh, shape of this to be irregular too just because again i like it i like the irregular torn edges mm -hmm. how is that yeah i like it i think this is how my window is going to be and then i'm going to do the same thing for this one although i am going to be much more careful because I don't want to tear too much. Where's my awl? Here. Uh, I don't want to tear too much since um, this piece of fabric is much smaller. Okay. And I'm also keeping in mind the fact that it's rectangular. So I'm kind of going in this direction. Okay, so we see that it's still our window can still be larger, so I'm going to turn a slightly larger piece. Uh huh, how about this? Yeah, I think this is this is perfect. Almost almost too tall, but when we glue it I believe we're going to be okay. Yep definitely perfect we don't want more but here is how this is going to look in the window and i think it's so cute but now we want our windows uh to shine a little bit more <laughs> so i'm of course taking my gold this is gold wax uh, for gilding and I use it all the time so if you are not new here then you would have seen it and talk uh, and heard me talk about it and if you are new here welcome I am 
so happy you're here. I'm obsessed about uh, adding gold, <laughs> obsessed with adding gold to all of my projects. So I have this gilding wax and you can use any gilding wax as I always say. Uh, mine comes from like a Polish brand uh, called Renaissance, but you can use any gilding wax that you can find. And then the color, because it doesn't have to be gold. I have this, mine is called gold, pure gold, the color. Uh, but I know that you can find something in like more antique gold. Um, you can find a silver one, you can find copper. There are a lot of colors. And look, you can already see how, how much it shines. <laughs> I love it. Love it so much. Okay. And I always do it with my fingers because it gives me a more organic, irregular look. Which is always nice. Okay, so that would be our windows. Now I'm going to attach my fabric with hot glue. So I'm going to plug my hot glue gun so that it gets warmer. So I don't want to, I don't want it to fall from my desk, definitely. Just get warmer. And now we can see how this is going to look like. I think I want it this way. Look at this, you guys. Isn't it just stunning? I mean, the piece of fabric and the beautiful paper do all the work, but I also love the ragged edge of the window. I don't know. I'm, I'm like really digging a ragged torn edges of everything <laughs> yeah um and let's see the other one so the teal one where's our piece and we have this and this is so cute i love this little like island of gold in all of this teal sea and <laughs> this is so so pretty and i think for this one because the gold looks so pretty on this one i'm also going to be gilding this edge these edges so while my um while my hot glue gun is heating up why don't i just do it very quickly maybe i will do it for the second one as well we will see I'm sorry i think i'm on camera I'm testing a new, not a new, but slightly different camera setting. So my camera is higher because um, I wanted kind of more space on my desk and my ring light, which I have right above me here, <laughs> uh, used to be so close to me that I would bang my head on it whenever I just came a little bit closer to to what i was doing so i just wanted to to test a setting where my camera and my ring light are slightly larger larger not larger they are the same uh, are slightly higher so i hope the lighting is going to be good and also the sort of the angle it did zoom in the camera so I hope it's okay. It's just I kind of have to be more here when I'm working, so for for you to see what I'm doing. So I hope I'm staying in frame. But yeah, I feel like filming YouTube videos is a constant for me at least. It's a constant search for the best possible settings for better lighting for better quality uh, of sound of for better visual quality as well and honestly you guys i really like this part <laughs> i actually 
really do like this part okay so obviously um, I'm doing the, the front here as well I'm building it but just the flap I'm thinking just the flap so that it stands stands out and my fingers are of, cold, are of course all gold And I'm smudging it once I've put the wax on the page here on on the paper I'm smudging I'm going back with my finger and I'm smudging it a little bit which shows really nice on this darker paper it usually doesn't show that nice on uh, when your paper is lighter but where the color of your paper is lighter but but here it is just so pretty okay so now now we can glue my glue gun is heated so let me see do i want it like this like this no like this maybe like this because the leaves are going this way so my leaves here are going to go this way as well so because glue gun, uh, glue gun, because glue, this hot glue tends to, uh, tends to dry quite quickly, I am going to go in little bits. So no, not gluing all the way around my window but just bit by bit and oh just burned myself like I always say you guys be careful uh, with the hot glue because it really is hot at least for a for a moment so I'm just like trying to pat it and this way um, it doesn't burn me burn me at all I don't even feel it on my fingers but if I pat it too hard <laughs> um, this this is going to burn me all righty here like that and here like that let's see let's see whoa isn't this so pretty also one thing to remember you guys with fabrics that are like this which are quite transparent you are going to see the inside of your envelope so in this case i like this pink but i dislike this you can see this bit here is this bit here so that's why for this one i'm just going to cut it off and there will be no problem there will be just the pink that I like so take uh, take that into consideration where you are choosing your fabric and your paper also because you will see slightly what's beneath it but the shine here the shine you guys oh it's so pretty okay and the second one and for this one I have to be even more careful so this way up and I'm thinking this way even more careful because it's it fits but very tightly <laughs> it's a tight fit so I want to make sure I have space on top and the bottom and that I am actually going to line it perfectly and if you work fast with this hot glue see I'm kind of having trouble here seeing how I want it okay let me do it this way so I want it like that now I'm going to hold it here and then Take my hot glue and go, mm -hmm. and I just moved it. <laughs> okay, 
I think that's fine. Let us see where we still can do something about it. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so now I can move here along the the edges of of this window that we tore. I'm adding a very small amount of glue where my fabric is the closest to the border of the of the window. Okay, and just a tiny bit here. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I think it should be good. We have some loose threads here that I believe we can cut off. <laughs> right. Oh, isn't this so sweet, you guys? <laughs> I love it. I don't know. It just really reminds me of like the sea and this little island of hope and flowers and sun shine. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I really like it though. So, here we have our envelopes. We could close them now, but I think that maybe we will just do some collaging. How about that? So I have a couple of flowers, classical flowers here that I have left from some, some other project. And let's see if maybe one of them, although here, maybe a yellow one, something. But I'm thinking that this one, oh, this is so pretty, very pretty. This is not the color. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to go with this flower. And for the teal, I'm thinking maybe something more yellow in tone to match these, um, the gold. Let's see what we have here. Oh, I have a rose, huge rose. <laughs> Not sure this this would fit. Oh, but I'm just going to check. I think it's too big, but actually the colors would would look, look really nice. That's an option, I guess. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think I have too many more fussy cut flowers so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find something that I like for this one but if not then we will look somewhere else oh how about this branch yeah this branch looks gorgeous because of the uh, orange here okay so I wish this poppy was slightly bigger because it would look really nice too. <laughs> okay, so we have our flowers, but before I glue them, I just want to add a little bit of collaging behind, behind those flowers. So let me check what I have here. I have some pieces of the vintage book page. Mm -hmm. What else do I have? What else do I have here that would match? I'm thinking this piece here mm -hmm. and for this one I think this is enough because this one is very busy and here I just think I really want some music paper but I don't think I have any on my desk 
So let me see my book. Uh, my book with very, very old pages. Well, actually, do I like this color or the one? I have found this huge book. I can show you guys of full of is it yeah full of music paper how stunning is this and it's really like very very old you can uh, feel the ink sort of embossed and i love it it was wasting away i found it in a flea market it was wasting away there it was in a really bad condition and so you know decided to, took it, to take it home and to give it new life. So I'm going to take a piece of this gorgeous music paper and how about I position it something like this. Mm -hmm. But then I also think that I might like to add um, a little bit of collaging here as well with the same papers just to kind of make it work together because they stand out quite a bit on this dark background so I just want to make sure that they look like they belong because they do they do belong here <laughs> So I would have this and probably some labels, something like this. So here it is and I am thinking, yeah, I will, I will ink the edges of my scraps. And we can see if we can use some of Tracy's labels to add to the background. Now again, this one is a bit busy, so if we don't add anything to it, then it's going to be absolutely fine. It's going to be to still be and look complete. But for this one, I'm thinking I might add something more. Mm -hmm. And this. And I'm not inking the flowers themselves because when I'm inking the scraps and then put the flowers on top of them, they are still going to stand out even if their edges are not inked. Also, inking this flimsy thing, <laughs> that would be pain. That would be pain. All right, team. Let's take our glue stick and I'm going to glue this piece down. And I'm actually thinking maybe I would like it this way or yeah, this way up. Mm -hmm. Maybe like this. And then these tiny ones to tie everything together nicely. This one here. And then this. This one here. I really like it. Okay. And the same thing here. We are covering and tearing off a quite a bit of this beautiful paper here on this side, but we still have the all the other side of this beautiful pattern, so I'm not worried at all not worried at all mm -hmm. okay now i would take my wet glue 
because it's much more precise and I'm going to glue the flower and we can see yeah for this one I just want to glue the flower down and we can see if we want to add something more but for the other one I'm going to check the labels first to see if maybe I want to add something behind the flower before I glue it Okay. Awesome. And like that. I really love it. Really, really love this one. And here, let me put my plant here. I really like it as well. So, I have these labels, they are tiny, and I also have my ephemera holder, the one we made together quite some time ago. <laughs> and I also have some labels, so maybe I would choose some browns, something to match all of these tones, those warm tones. So we have two bigger ones and also, okay, let me see if maybe I want it like that and then here, awesome. And I just need one more, just one more, maybe this one actually, mm -hmm. I think I'm happy with it. I think I need to look no further. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I really like it. The final step for decorating this will of course be gold splatters and I feel that they will look incredible on this darker paper. I don't think I'm going to be splattering this one because it already has a lot of splatters and gold foiling and everything going on but this one it just begs for it it does need some splatters mm -hmm. and then this one here like that now i can also glue down my branch and then we will see if the back of our envelope still needs something or if we can go to the front and decorate the front a little bit, just a little bit It's very striking because of this color. Yeah, I really like it. <laughs> okay, so let's look at our two envelopes and let's see, do I want anything else here? Let me check my scrap box. I should have a piece left of this gold leaf trim. How about I add it here somewhere? Because well, just because, <laughs> just because it's my gold leaf trim and I love it so much and I can't seem to be able to make a project without loads of gold in it. And I'm just trying to see how would I like, how would I like them, maybe like this, yeah. Do I want any of this here well of course i do don't need to ask <laughs> and 
uh, let's see maybe here and here so something similar yeah but i want this one to be a bit longer so how about i have four leaves instead of three yep love it gluing it down immediately i don't think i don't have to think twice about it <laughs> Ooh, I just caught myself in time uh, to restart my recording before it cut off on its own. I told you guys in a recent video <laughs> that my camera, it films for 30 minutes and then it cuts off. And the most annoying thing is that it does not start automatically. So I have to keep watching the time <laughs> because it just stops recording and I keep talking and I keep creating and I keep talking to you guys and you don't hear me so I just caught myself it was like 29 minutes 50, se 50 seconds yeah something like this um, and I was able to restart it myself So one for me, zero for the camera today. <laughs> okay. Now, see. Now my fingers are so gluey, but I don't mind it. I think I want that here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I love both of them. Oops, sorry guys. Here you can see, I believe. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to glue my envelopes close. I'm going to close them basically. Uh, and we will see what we want to add to the front. By the way, can anyone tell me if this is the front of the envelope and this is the back or the other way around is this the front and this the back i never know i think i use those terms interchangeably when it comes to envelopes which clearly shows i don't know what i'm talking about i really don't know which one is front and which one is back with the envelope so if anyone would be so kind to tell me in the comments please please do if you know I will be so grateful. I might even write it down <laughs> to, to remember. Okay. Now. Mm. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. So for my original envelopes, I actually used a little flower somewhere here. And then I used a piece of ephemera from my own kit. Uh, to make a closure let's see I should have I should have some of those journaling cards somewhere here um, I have this one I can't quite see it I also have some in my scraps stash I have this one too so let me have See if any one of them would match would match here. So that we can use them as a closure or that we can look for something else. Okay, I don't think so. These are not the same colors. This is more pastel vibrant but the background is pastel i would say so what i would want to check out next would be this little bin that i have here of some ephemera i have some tim holtz ephemera some random ephemera beads this is pretty this is really pretty actually and this plant here 
it kind of reminds me of this for some reason there are some like no, these are flowers those are like fruit but still if we added the golden edges well we can we can see about that and about this here I like it or do we want a closure at all how about we just decorate this a little bit with some cluster of fabric and then just leave it the way it is because when we fold it it's not going to open and i don't want to make these envelopes too easy my other ones i chose very um like different papers you know very much not busy <laughs> um so the closure worked well i can't stop staring at them you guys but anyway um so how about we just take maybe some flowers let me let me see i have some some flowers here yeah we could still make like a cluster cluster of a flower plus plus some fabric and how about this here no that's too much one one should be enough so with these because they have those um sticky parts i'm going to pull it off and i am going to cut here and i'm going to do this for this one as well so that they are so that well i can just glue them down properly so i know that i'm going to be using my glue gun so i'm going to plug it again and in the meantime we can just check out some more scraps something we might want to use here i'm just reaching for for some of the scraps i have on the side here how about something like this let me try this i would take a piece of this sheer fabric Mm, a little piece maybe with the branch from this one and then a flower like this oh i love it now the branch looks or the leaves look like they <coughs> excuse me guys look like they belong to to the flower and for this one this one is certainly more difficult but i'm thinking this fabric this is an interesting piece of fabric it's very like you can do this <laughs> um, but i like the color here and oh maybe this a little bit of gold just something something neutral yeah i like it so is my glue ready yet should be so once again i'm going to use it to glue my fabric first just in a few places that's enough and then my flower 
where do I want it here? I'm going to add more glue. Add the flower and press it. And you guys know I'm going to take the the middle off and I will show you what I will do about this middle. But I don't like it because it's very like stick, sticking out. It's sticking out. I don't like it. I don't want it like this. So I'm taking it out for now. I need another um, another stick of glue there. more i definitely should have more but maybe what i have will be enough i just need a little bit more for my flower for my fabric okay and now for the middle so for the middle of my flowers i'm going to use those enamel dots or enamel pearls and i'm thinking this or a pink like this here or a gold one a gold one for both i'm thinking <laughs> uh, because it matches the gold dots here and all the gold vibes here so i don't need that much now is my glue do i have enough glue that's the question okay so cute i hope you can see it i will show you the close-up in a second where we are finished but i think it looks so cute okay glue gun unplugged And here we have it, guys. Our envelopes with the cute little flower cluster and this side, which I still don't know which is uh, with, if this is front or back, but that's okay. Let's call it back for the sake of this video. <laughs> so let me bring it slightly closer to you guys so you can see, is it? focused on my flower yeah i think so how cute it looks we have a lot of gold foiling going on here on this one and a lot of shine on this side i love it i love it so much then we have this one like that and this side with the pretty fabric okay so thank you so much for crafting with me today you guys thank you for spending your time with me um i hope you enjoyed this project and yeah i will speak to you very very soon in my next video bye guys